Jenna Ortega is currently facing the wrath of the American Writers Guild. Suppose you need clarification about why. Do not worry because you are not alone. To understand this situation, we must return to the 2nd of May. This was when the Writers Guild of America decided they would formally strike. This strike consists of over 11,000 writers demanding higher wages and fairer working conditions. This entire situation might sound familiar to you, and that is because this is not the first time that the Writers Guild has gone on strike. A similar situation occurred in 2007 when the Writers Guild first went on strike. Back then, their demands were very similar, although for different reasons. The first strike also centered around higher wages. However, there was also a much deeper reason. In 2007, we started to make the first transition from television over to streaming. Although still in its infancy, many knew where we were headed regarding entertainment. Production companies and studios will always try to make as much money as possible. This entire industry revolves around eternal growth. This means that if they can save money at your expense, that is what they will do. Back in 2007, when streaming was still in its infancy, studios refused to give writers any revenue from streaming. Today streaming is dominating the entertainment space, however, writers do not see any of that revenue. While studios are making more money than ever, writers are earning less. The current strike does not only revolve around money but also around AI and how it can replace them. With all of this context, you might be asking yourself one question. How does all of this tie back into Jenna Ortega? To understand this whole situation, we must go back again. Just over a month ago, Jenna Ortega appeared on a podcast about her Netflix series Wednesday. During this discussion, Jenna spoke about her time on set and how she had to make severe changes to the scripts as certain things did not make sense. She stated, There were times on that set where I even became almost unprofessional in a sense where I just started changing lines. The script supervisor thought I was going with something, and then I had to sit down with the writers, and they'd be like, wait, what happened to the scene? And I'd have to go and explain why I couldn't go do certain things. Some of those things, Wednesday being in a love triangle. It made no sense. There was a line about a dress she has to wear for a school dance, and she says, Oh my god, I love it. I can't believe I said that. I literally hate myself. I had to go, no. Jenna Ortega, on this podcast, is very vocal about her entire experience. She previously also spoke out about how demanding and grueling it is working on a show like this. When you take this experience, and you combine it with writers who might not understand your character, it can be even worse. It is worth pointing out that Wednesday is universally praised as a great show. Not only do people love the show, but they also love the titled character. All of the changes Jenna is making to the scripts are working. However, not everyone in Hollywood agrees. Jenna's comments about rewriting certain portions of the script could have gone better with some. Writers, producers, and everyone in between were lashing out at the star over her comments. One producer went as far as to call Jenna toxic over her remarks. Stephen Decknight, famous for creating the Spartacus series, voiced his displeasure on social media. He first called her beyond entitled and toxic and then stated, Life's too short to deal with people like this in the business, I can't stress this enough, she's an amazing talent. And also, I'll admit that writers are on edge because of the impending strike, myself included. Now that everyone is caught up, let's talk about the strike. Writers are currently in the street protesting. Some writers are holding up signs directly aiming at the Wednesday Star. One writer holds a sign that reads, Without writers, Jenna Ortega will have nothing to punch up. Another labor organizer says, Jenna Ortega better be back from NY for her afternoon shift on the picket line. Another quote reads, rewriting is writing. See you at the line, Jenna. Most of these are likely just light-hearted jabs. However, some are taking these comments very seriously. Not everyone is open to criticism. When that criticism comes from a 19-year-old changing your work for the better, it can be even harder to accept. Some writers and producers are unhappy with her comments. I will give these writers a little break in the spirit of complete fairness. They are clearly on edge over their livelihood being on the line. It is not fun for anyone to be underpaid. Although writers are pushing back against the comments that Jenna Ortega made on her podcast, many are also in agreement. The ability to write a good script only comes naturally to some, and it takes a specific type of talent to write a great show. However, in the age of streaming, platforms are always desperate for new content. If that means sacrificing quantity for quality, many are prepared to do that. It is a highly short-sighted goal, but one that everybody in Hollywood is following. On Netflix, this is especially true. However, things are starting to shift across the board. Netflix is cancelling one show after the other, realizing that you have to turn over a profit at some point, and you can no longer give everybody a series. Disney recently also lost 4 million subscribers and is heavily cutting back on their shows. When Jenna Ortega said that her scripts were not making sense and she needed to make drastic changes, it was effortless to believe. I also do not blame an actor one bit. The truth is you, as an actor, get attached to these projects. No one even 
even knows who the writers of these shows are. If the show fails, the actors are taking all the blame. Writers move on to the next project while actors struggle to get work. Many big-name actors will only agree to do a project if they are also producers or executive producers. When you are a producer, you can at least make some changes to terrible scripts. As I have said, writing is not easy, and it is normal for actors to request changes to specific scripts. Even the best directors and writers still get notes for changes. Currently, it is still being determined when this writer's strike is going to end. With that, many of your favorite shows will be delayed, which likely includes Wednesday. Jenna Ortega might catch strays at the writer's expense, but I am sure it is all good fun.